Batteries are perishable devices that eventually wear out. As batteries deteriorate, they become incapable of doing their job. Even new or good batteries may become discharged for various reasons. A battery check should always be the starting point for diagnosing all electrical system problems. It's not uncommon for an alternator to be replaced because it's believed to be faulty, only to discover later that the root cause of the problem wasn't the alternator at all. High or unwanted resistance is one contributing factor that leads to charging system problems. High resistance is often caused by one of these four main issues. Loose connections, corrosion in the cables or wiring, improperly sized wiring or cables, or an improperly crimped connection. While a technician may regularly do a visual inspection of cables and connections, this inspection doesn't show what is going on inside of them. Voltage drop testing is the only sure method of determining if there's an adequate current delivery path. Voltage drop in the charging system can cause multiple symptoms depending upon the location of the voltage drop, including undercharge or overcharge, failed battery as a result of under or overcharge, repeat alternator replacement or misdiagnosis, and other vehicle electrical issues. Here is how to perform a voltage drop test. These tests are most accurate with the aid of a carbon pile or an automated tester, but you can use the vehicle as the load, as we're doing today. There must be current flow for voltage drop to occur. For this reason, you cannot perform this voltage drop test on a vehicle with a failed charging system. Make the necessary repairs to the charging system before conducting this voltage drop test. First, record a base voltage. With a voltmeter connected to the battery and the engine off, record a base voltage reading. If it's less than 12.4 volts, charge the battery and repeat the test. If the voltage is greater than 12.6 volts, then surface charge must be removed. Do that by turning on the headlights and the blower motor to high speed for one minute. Then turn off the devices and wait two minutes for the voltages to stabilize. When you have a reading between 12.4 and 12.6 volts, you're ready to perform a voltage drop test. Start the engine and hold at about 1500 to 2000 RPM. Turn on all possible electrical loads. Headlamps on high beam. Defrost on high speed. Additionally, turn on any other accessories that require electrical power, except the wipers. Measure the voltage at the alternator by placing the red lead of the voltmeter on the alternator B+, and the black lead of the voltmeter on the case of the alternator. If the reading is 12.6 volts or less, repair the charging system and repeat this test. If the reading is greater than 12.6 volts, record the reading and proceed to step 3. Measure the voltage at the battery by placing the red lead of the voltmeter on the positive battery post and the black lead of the voltmeter on the negative battery post. If the reading is within 0.5 volts of the step 2 results, the charging system power and ground are within specifications. If the reading is more than 0.5 volts from the step 2 results, isolate the failed circuit by measuring the positive and negative sides separately. Measure positive circuit voltage drop by placing the black lead of the voltmeter on the positive battery post and the red lead of the voltmeter on the alternator B plus post. Record the voltage on the voltmeter. This is the positive circuit voltage loss. If the reading is less than 0.03 volts, verify the alternator is charging and retest. If the reading is between 0.03 and 0.4 volts, the positive circuit is within specification and you can proceed to step 5. If the reading is greater than 0.4 volts, inspect and repair the positive circuit from the positive battery post to the B-plus post of the alternator. Be sure to closely inspect for corrosion, loose connections, or failing fusible links. The second part of the alternator test is to measure the negative side. Place the black lead of the voltmeter on the housing of the alternator and the red lead of the voltmeter on the negative battery post. Record the reading on the voltmeter. If the reading is less than 0.03 volts, verify the alternator is charging and retest. 
If the reading is between 0.03 and 0.4 volts, the negative circuit is working within specification. If the reading is greater than 0.4 volts, repair the negative circuit from the negative battery post to the alternator case. Be sure to closely inspect for corrosion, loose connections, or failing engine grounds. The last step for the alternator test is to add the positive circuit loss to the negative circuit loss to get the total system loss. This loss should not exceed 0.5 volts for a 12 volt system or 1 volt for a 24 volt system. Remy recommends conducting a voltage drop test during scheduled maintenance and before replacing the battery, starter or alternator.